Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And wow, a long time no see. Um, a lot of things going on and I will kind of go over that at the end of the video so that way if you're not interested in my personal life then you don't have to sit through that. But anyway, for now I have a Spring Essentials video. Okay, so I have um, gone through and kind of um, curated my own little spring essentials items things that I think that going into spring um, you're going to want to look at and um, possibly get a lot of these things you probably already have in your collection but anyway I've got a little bit of fashion and personal skincare um, cosmetics, perfume, just a little bit of everything that I think, you know, we're going to need going into spring. Um, so anyway, um, and if you hear any thundering going on, we're having a massive thunderstorm today. Yeah, um, the kids had been on a spring break and it never fails when it's spring break here in Oklahoma. It's always cold and rainy the whole week and the poor kids have been cooped up in the house the whole week but anyway so anyway enough of that let's get started with um the stuff I want to show you so the first thing I have is a product that was sent to me um, through Octoly and it's a pair of sandals and they're the memory foam yoga sh um, chick by Naho I think is how you pronounce that um, there's the website there that you can go on um, they will be linked in the description box and there will also be a 10% off code for these but anyway <clears throat> when I seen these I thought those look like they would be so comfortable and so cute going into spring um, they have a um, they have high rebound cushioning they're made with memory foam they're superior comfort premium materials and designed in the USA and what they are made of is um, they're made out of yoga mat memory foam. Um, <clears throat> so if you do yoga and you use those um, yoga mats, <clears throat> that's the material that they are made out of. But look at those. Aren't those so cute? <coughs> Excuse me. And um, this part right here is just a really nice soft material that's a little stretchy. This goes over the heel and then here on the toe they are like a little sandal. Um, they kind of have like the little espadrille um, footbed on them look there and then they're so so flexible and just look like they would be so so comfortable unfortunately I haven't got to wear them yet um, I'll go in that into detail on what has happened to me personally but um, I haven't been able to wear them well one it's been rainy and cold but um, I'm having some um, um, physical um, difficulties myself and anyway, I'll get into that at the end of the video so anyway I have those so thank you to Octoly for sending those to me I cannot wait to wear those cannot wait and then the next thing that I have um, that was again sent to me through Octoly is a blush from Ofra <clears throat> and this would be this color oh man <clears throat> I am so sorry. Springtime for me is the worst um, season for me because of my allergies. But anyway, so anyway, it's this really pretty blush. It's called um, Bellini, and it's just a really um, pretty light peachy shade with a little bit of a pink undertone. I do have it on as my blush today, but it's just so pretty. So I think, you know, go through your collections, pull out your peachy and your pink colored blushes. Perfect for this time of year. Um, kind of help lighten up the face and get us out of the, the mauves and the, the earth tones that we've been wearing for fall and winter and just kind of help, you know, brighten up the face and just make it all nice and pretty and just ready for spring. But this is just so pretty. You can get this at Ulta. Um, there will be a link in the description box also for, for this blush. So just so pretty. But it's the Bellini Island Time Blush. Does this have a smell to it? No, it does smell. So anyway, 
definitely a must have for spring. It's just a really nice springy, fresh, nice look to the cheeks. Another product um, that I think is really good for springtime is to kind of help start creating this springtime eye looks, you know, with the purples and the lilacs and the greens. Um, I created the eye look that I have on today with this palette here, which is the Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette. If you have this in your collection, pull it out. It just makes a beautiful springtime look. I pretty much used the, um, the center colors here to create the look that I have on with a little bit of this in the um, brow bone to kind of help highlight a little bit. But yes, um, some other ones that I pulled out that would make a beautiful springtime look that you may possibly have in your collection is like the Too Faced um, Peach Palette. Um, definitely um, screams spring and summer. Um, pull this out if you have that. Um, even the Lorac um, Gold Zipped Palette would make a beautiful spring look to it. If you have this in your collection, this makes a beautiful look, especially when you're concentrating with these colors here and the two lighter brown colors. It makes a really pretty spring look. Um, another one was the Tom Ford um, Lilac Dream Quad. Again, makes a beautiful springtime look. So you kind of see where I'm going with um, the, the look for spring. You know, think of the flowers and everything that are blooming outside. And that's kind of what you want to, to go for to create just a really nice springy look romantic look. Um, another one that's really, really pretty is this one from Viseart. And this is the um, Theory palette. And what color is this? I don't remember. Oh, let me get my glasses. I brought my little reading glasses because I know I'm going to, um, ooh, thunder, the amethyst eyeshadow. But yes, beautiful, beautiful colors for definitely for a really pretty springtime look. So just go through your collection. I'm not saying that you need to go and buy all these products. I mean, I just went through my, my collection and just started pulling out um, palettes that I thought would be uh, really pretty going into spring and just kind of create a nice romantic um, springtime look. And that's what I did with my makeup today. Um, another product um, for spring is go through your collection and pull out your pink and your really light pink um, lip lipsticks and lip glosses. I have this one here from Clinique. This is the Chubby Stick Intense and um, Plushest Punch is what I'm wearing as my lip color today. And just a really, really pretty color for spring. And then this little um, buxom lip gloss in the color. I got to get my glasses again. I cannot see in the color um, Kayla. Makes a really pretty color for spring also. Oh, this would actually look pretty on top of this lipstick I'm wearing. I should have done that. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. See how pretty that is? Mm. Looks good, doesn't it, it's for spring? So yes, definitely, definitely beautiful, beautiful colors for spring. So definitely go with that. Also, um, going into spring, you want to lighten up your scent that we're wearing. Um, you know, we've been wearing our lot, our heavier scents during fall and winter, like our, our um, tobacco smelling scents, our really deep vanilla scents just things that are like really heavy and maybe sit close to the skin. So now let's lighten up our, our, our fragrance and the way that our bodies smell. And I cannot recommend one enough that is perfect for going out of winter into spring. And this is the perfume by Philosophy for um, Amazing Grace. Oh, this smells so good. I talked about this in, um, my perfume collection video. I'll put an eye card up for that. If you want to know a little bit more details on the, um, the notes in this, but this is just a beautiful scent. It's not overpowering. It's very light and fresh and floral and oh, it smells so good. So good. And another one along the same lines 
from Philosophy is the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. This is a new one that they, they just came out and I did talk about this in that video also. I like to layer the two together. I think they just go together so pretty. And, oh, and of course, you know, roses. Mm, I love the smell of roses. Anything rose, I want. I want it on my body. I want it on my face. I just love the smell of roses. But anyway, so there you go for some um, perfume um, recommendations. But just go through your collection. I know you have something in your collection that you like to pull out in the spring and summer. So just go through those and start thinking about getting those things lined out. Pull them out of your storage closet where you keep those things and start using them. Another um, product that I want to talk about um, for spring, and we should be using this anyway all year round, it doesn't matter. But you know, springtime, you've probably got um, kids or grandkids or nieces, nephews, whatever the case may be, that maybe are doing softball and soccer. And so you're going to be outside more. Um, the days have gotten longer because of the time change, so we're spending more time outside. You need a really good sunscreen, especially for the face. And I talked about this in my last um, favorites video, and this is the Misha All Around Safe Block. Um, essence sun milk for the face. It's a wonderful, wonderful um, sunblock. It also has skincare properties in it, so you're getting um, more bang for your buck on this product. It's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like it clogs. Um, doesn't feel like you're suffocating. I really like this one. And then an alternative to that one is this one from Shiseido. And this one is the um, the Extra Smooth Sun Protection Lotion in SPF <clears throat> of 38 is another good one. And you can usually find these like at TJ Maxx and Marshalls at a discount. So beautiful for, definitely need something like that for spring and summer. Another product that I recommend, um, I kind of touched a little bit about the issue that I have with allergies, is getting a eye drop that's for... Um, itchy, burning, running eyes. And the one I like to use is Clear Eyes. It's the Complete 7 Symptom Relief. Um, relieves red, dry, itchy, gritty, irritated, burning, um, watery eyes. And I've been using that one. And another one that I have been using that um, helps to kind of get the redness out of your eyes. If you're like me, every time I wake up in the morning, my eyes are so red and irritated and gritty from not sleeping. And the one I like is this Roth, Roth Toe Cool Eye Drops. They do have a cooling effect when you drop them into your eyes. Um, the first time, few times that you use it, you might think it's a little intense, but you'll get used to it. And it takes the redness out of your eyes just like that. I mean, this is wonderful. I like to put this on. When I first get up and I start my skincare routine, I'll put this in my eyes. And by the time I'm getting ready to put my makeup on, my eyes are nice and bright. All that red is gone. Really do enjoy that. Okay, we are almost done. Just a couple more things that we're going to talk about that is um, spring essentials. And one of is... Um, Girls, we're going to have to break out the razors. Um, spring is here. We're going to be showing more leg, more of our body as it starts getting warmer. And we're going to have to shave. You may have spent all fall and winter without picking up a razor. But it's time <laughs> to get those razors out and get everything nice and smooth and ready for some action. And I just subscribed to this new um, razor service. And um, it's called Billy, and it's the um, the Angel line <clears throat> from this company, Billy. It's kind of like the the Shave Club program <clears throat> along the same lines. But anyway, um, for nine dollars a month, um, the first month um, you'll get your the razor that I just dropped. Anyway, um, you'll get your your razor body and then you'll get a blade and then you'll get another blade and you get a holder to um, put onto your shower or tub or whatever it is that you shave at the most 
it just has a little sticky thing and sticks on there and that holds the razor somehow. I'm not really for sure. Anyway, so, and then um, you can, and then every month for $9, they'll send you four new blades. And you can um, change the frequency of that. I don't think I will need to have four blades a month because um, usually I can get by with a blade a month so anyway so I did subscribe to this um, I haven't used them yet um, so I can't tell you know, tell you um, the quality of this or how well it works but I, what I'm just saying is you need get your razors out <laughs> go if you don't have any go buy you some razors check out this um, um, shave club service it doesn't necessarily have to be this one it could be you know the dollar shave club i've heard a lot of people talk about it there's there's several out there on the market um, but definitely get you some good razors and um, start getting everything cleaned up a little bit girls it's time and then the last thing i want to talk about for spring essential is um getting out your little springy flower floor print lightweight um, blouses that are just very feminine and flowy looking um, this one i found at a local boutique is from the brand easel i was looking online and i think amazon you might be able to find um, this brand and i actually bought several blouses from that the boutique when i was in there that day and I just really like the quality and the, just the flowiness. I thought this one was really cute. It's more like a, a peasant type. Well, not really peasant, more like a boho. Yeah, boho type. Um, blouse, is, it is sheer, so I did have to put a, um, a undershirt underneath it, which is fine. Then just has these little um, bows here that lace up and yeah. I'm sure you have something sim very similar in your closet that is nice and springy and fresh. It's time to pull those things out. It's time to put those sweaters and those vests and those long sleeve shirts um, stored and pull out all of your um, spring essentials. So anyway, that is it for my spring essentials video. I hope that you have enjoyed and will um, hit that subscribe button. Also, um, click on the little bell notification so that you're notified of all future videos. And um, thank you so much for joining me today. So now I'm going to kind of um, give you an update on what's been going on. A lot of you um, already know about um, my father-in-law who was diagnosed with cancer um, the beginning of March. Um, we have done, I say we because I'm the one that's been taking him. We have done... 14 radiation treatments. We have our last one tomorrow being Monday and then he starts his chemo tomorrow also. So um, I think chemo, they said they're going to do six chemo treatments, one every three weeks. So that won't be so bad. It won't be so much going every single day. I tell you, we've had, um, it's either, you know, radiation and then doctor's appointments this past three weeks, consistently, every day, um, he had his port put in. So that was an outpatient surgery that we did. Um, it's just been, it's been hectic. It has. It's been, it's been rough with trying to get him to his radiation, getting all the financial portions of it set up. Um, he has Medicare, but we're trying to get him on Medicaid. And that is, gosh, that's like pulling teeth to get that done. I tell you what, you know, it's, it's really sad that you have a person that, you know, worked their whole life and reached a certain age that they start drawing, you know, their Social Security. And they're pretty much left out in the cold, um, with trying, I mean, there's programs out there that I know he qualifies for. It's just getting him approved. I mean, one of the things that they want for the Medicaid is they want five years worth of bank statements. Like, uh, how many people keep all their bank statements? I know he doesn't. He don't really keep anything. So I've just been having to really 
get a lot done for him. Um, we had to get a birth certificate. We got to go and get a new social security card because his tore up. Um, we had to go get his social security award letter showing, you know, what he was making because, you know, all we had was just his, a bank statement and it's just been, it's been a lot. Um, the other day we had for the medical part of the Medicaid, a nurse had to come and do an evaluation and that took two hours to fill out all of the paperwork for that and for her to look at everything and see the setup that we had for him. And I mean, that was two hours of just nothing but paperwork and questions that I had already filled out and sent in and submitted, but it's just like everything is just so redundant. And um, I sent in an application and I had all this paperwork attached to it. And then they call and tell me that they need all that. I'm like, well, I had it attached to the application. Well, we don't know what happened to it. So I got to get, I got to submit everything that I've already submitted. I got to submit it again. <clears throat> it's just been, I tell you what, it's been rough with getting all this this done. Um, not just you know taking him back and forth, but just trying to get all the stuff situated and keeping his medication straight. I mean, the man went from taking no medications to taking eight that we have to keep track of, and it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And between the two of us, I think I think we're. Sorry about that, my memory card filled up. Anyway, I was talking about my mother-in-law. Um, she's still in the nursing home. Not for sure when she's gonna get to come home. Um, she had broken her ankle. Um, she's diabetic, so it's taking a little bit longer for it to heal. So anyway, we have that situation going on. Um, this week, my husband is going to have a lot of test run on his shoulder. His shoulder has been boogered up for several months now and he can't lift his arm up and he's in so much pain with his shoulder so we go tuesday to have that seen about and then to top it all off last weekend i was cleaning my sugar glider cage it's a the big one it's like four feet tall and i was trying to reattach the exercise wheel and i was down on my knees Anyway, I lost my balance. I fell over, <clears throat> landed on my elbow, and I guess in doing that, I um, pulled my lower back and my hip out. And so I have been, oh, I tell you, <clears throat> this has been the worst pain that I've ever, ever in my entire life have been in. I've been going to the chiropractor. I've been doing ice therapy, heat therapy, um, muscle relaxers, steroid pills. I got a cortisone shot in my lower back. Um, what else is um, shock therapy, massage therapy, heat therapy, cold therapy. You name it. I've been. We have been doing everything to try and get it back in. It's better. Um, today's the first day I've been able to actually sit for any length of time and film because um, I mean it would hurt to lay it hurt to sit it hurt to stand to walk I mean it was nothing nothing that I did <clears throat> and then and I mean guys you can't make this stuff up I was going to one of my appointments and I was walking into the chiropractor office and a wasp I swear it must have been going 100 miles an hour because it hit me in the forehead Gave me a bruise on my forehead and then stung me. So I walked into the, the chiropractor office. I mean, I had this big welt on my head. We had put ice on it. <laughs> it's just like, what else is going to happen? I mean, there's, I don't, I, yeah. Oh, and another thing with my daughter, she had her wisdom teeth cut out and there was a mix up. Her husband's grandmother had to end up taking her to her surgery. Um, I wasn't able to because I had my father-in-law's radiation treatments, plus I had to watch my daughter's um, youngest child, and I had to um, work in her place at the store, so I wasn't able to take her. 
so the grandmother took her and there is some miscommunication and they sent my daughter home with the only thing they sent her home was um, some pain pills <clears throat> and she had this done on Thursday and I'll try to remember to insert a picture of what she looked like I mean she looked like she had just been like they just beat her up I mean she was all swelled up bruises black eye anyway wasn't getting better you know she was in so much pain she couldn't open her mouth <clears throat> so she went to um, her dentist not the surgeon but the her dentist on Monday oh my gosh and she was my her dentist was furious because they should have sent her home with antibiotics and with steroids and they didn't she didn't have any of that she couldn't open her jaws they had to pry her jaws open and she was just in so much pain and now she has a really bad infection on this one side um, a really huge pus pocket in there that just keeps draining and I don't know it was not a good situation so she was out for five days um, not able to take care of her children and not able to work and so I was trying to help as much as I could there with that situation and it's just been it's been a lot I'm telling you I, I don't know how much more um, the family our family unit unit here can absorb and take on but anyway so just keep us in your prayers and your thoughts and it's very much appreciated and um, thank you so much for um, supporting me and supporting my channel and I appreciate it and I'll talk to you soon.